Hello, everybody. So, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to share some words of wisdom about CO2 canisters uh, because I learned a $40 lesson uh, that I didn't really need to if I had just, you know, had a little bit of forethought into um, into kegging and, and CO2 cylinders. Essentially, what happened is I got this K or this uh, CO2 cylinder refilled, and then oh gosh, just a couple weeks later, it was empty. So I thought that I had a leak here or somewhere along the line in here. Um, so or even you know right around in here. So what I did is I did the uh, the test where you take a bit of soap water and you use a pipette or a spray bottle or whatever, spray into all these cracks and look for bubbles. Um, I did that. I saw no bubbles. I sprayed down here. No bubbles. I even sprayed the top of hold of this thing just to see if it was leaking out of the middle there. No bubbles. So I was like, oh, I must have, you know, left the cylinder open a little bit. And, and I know that this regulator here has got a... Uh, it's, it's getting old. I need to get a new one. This one does have a little bit of hiss inside of it. So you can tell that it is not um, not completely, you know, airtight itself. So I was like, okay, I must have left this thing open and it just leaked out through here. Okay, there's 20 bucks down the tube. Whatever. Um, you know, life lesson. Whatever. <laughs> but, uh, so I got it refilled. Um, so another another twenty bucks a refill here where I live. I don't know. I hope you guys have it cheaper where you live, but here it's it's twenty bucks is about the standard. You can get it for about fifteen if you if you drive a bit, but I I don't know. Save the environment and just pay it five extra bucks. Fine by me. <laughs> uh, so got it refilled again. Um, everything hooked back up. I did the test all over again. I sprayed here, here, here. I sprayed all this with uh, even down here to see if it was bubbling. Um, no bubbling, so it's like, okay, I'm going to make sure that this thing is completely, completely screwed on. I mean, I, I cranked this thing so tight that I was worried that I was going to break this piece, <laughs> that plastic around here. Um, and then about a month later, I go to force carbonate a little bit of soda. I was making a ginger ale for my girlfriend, and lo and behold, I have no pressure again. So I thought this was pretty, pretty darn weird myself because I could not find a leak anywhere on it. Um, but what I did was I popped this off, obviously. I just took the entire rigging there off. And I was like, okay, what can be going on here? I was like, either this thing is leaking or there's a problem in here. Or is it this thing? I had never even thought to check the safety. This here, it's a safety mechanism for these cylinders. This is actually directly linked to the, the underside here, below where the actual valve is that lets the gas escape through here. This thing basically, once it reaches 3,000 PSI inside of here, this sucker blows an internal gasket made out of uh, metal, and it basically releases all the gas so that way the canister doesn't explode. I had never even thought to look at this, so I got out my handy dandy wrench and proceeded to pop this off. Now, this came off very, very easy, uh, which I thought was peculiar. So, long story short, ha, too late, I went and I took it to get refilled for a third time. Okay, so 40 bucks has been blown into, you know, my brew area here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm surprised um, it took so long, but it, it did. It did leak out. And I had them look at this this piece here. Um, the guy tightened it down, tightened it down. He actually refilled the whole cylinder because he thought it was good. And then he doused the entire top, like all this, all, inside of here, up here, here, all around the edges, with, uh, I think it's called Sapo or something. It's like the expensive soap water, the, the professional soap water. This little guy was bubbling like crazy. So, basically, the moral of the story was that this valve, this, this metal piece, somehow had been bent, it looked like, right around this internal area here. And it was, it was leaking very, very slowly, but it was leaking. So, we uh, replaced this, had it refilled, and dunked the entire thing into a, um, a big bucket of water. That's really just about the only way that you can detect leaks in, in all these areas here. Um, so, we dunked it in water. It was good to go, so now I'm a happy camper sitting with about 1,200 PSI inside this baby, 
And uh, basically, I guess the words of wisdom I want to share is check everything. If you think you may have a leak or something, take off all this stuff here. You don't want to get this underwater. You know, it'll make it go bad. But dump this entire canister and the upper valve here into water and look for bubbles because it may be your safety. Okay? Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this tip will uh, save you a little money. Cheers. Bye-bye.